yesterday we had discussed about the classification of functions of management given by different authors also about planning as a managerial function so now moving ahead we will discuss in this video about organizing as a managerial function guys if you like my video uh, please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for uh, for getting the notification as soon as i uh, upload a video thank you functions of management organizing is all is a function of management uh, whenever you want to do whatever task you require some kind of organization take the example let us uh, take the example of our mother when she wants to prepare something uh, let us take the example uh, she wants to prepare pav bhaji yes uh, some kind of organization is required for that she will arrange all the vegetables required for making the bhaji that is she will be arranging the potatoes tomatoes onions yes and after that also the pav because she wants to make pav bhaji uh, butter etc she will make arrangement for all the resources uh, she will first chop and keep every uh, vegetable ready and after that she will start making the recipe yes so this is how our mother works yes and in any organization also uh, in any organization also organizing is done like that only yes organizing is assignment of authority and responsibility among individuals working for achievement of common objectives let us take the example of a school the common objective of the school is to uh, is to make students educated yes and uh, teach students the best yeah and for that there are teachers yes so what will be the organizing part in that organizing part will be uh, will be of segregating the duty like uh, for a teacher uh, for you take mrs seema you uh, she will be given a math science subject for some other uh, teacher she will be given ss english subject that is assignment of authority and responsibility so now the teacher is responsible for her subject yes that is assignment of responsibility among individuals working for the achievement of common objective what will be the common objective of the teachers will be uh, that will be the betterment of the students of the school and uh, teaching the students the best and also uh, the students progress in their academic record so this will be the uh, objective of the school and the teachers yes so that is organization that is organization objectives policies program etc are decided through planning this is the work of the top level management they define the objectives of the business they define the policy Uh, in some organization there is a policy that if one comes late three times then it is uh, regarded as a one day leave so that is the policy a uh, program yes program is also decided by the top level management through planning it is decided through planning while executing plan organization structure is formed first of all planning is done and after that organizing is done organizing in organizing we will organize for the resources we will organize uh, we will be organizing for the assignment of authority responsibility that is work between individuals you can say in a layman language that work between individuals the activities of business are divided among different sections and various groups of people for the accomplishment of objectives organization is distribution of authority and responsibility among these sections and groups get clarified 
with the formation of organization structure issues like who will supervise who will have the authority and responsibility of the work interrelationship among individuals etc this all is done in organizing yes planning is the brain of the business while organizing is its physical structure the function of the brain is in the human body is to take intellectual decisions while the implementation is done by the various organs of the body uh, i can give you a very good example okay uh, a very hot utensil uh, full of hot water is kept on the uh, on the you say on the table yes so now you accidentally touch that utensil okay so there is a signal passed to the brain that this is very hot yes and i am getting burnt this is the signal that is passed by the skin yes to the brain yes and uh, there is a command from the brain take your hand take your hand away so after that what you do as soon as you realize that this is very hot you take your hand away yes so this is how our human body works in the same manner uh, we work in a business unit also all the intellectual decisions are taken and after that that is implementation of the decision and for that you require distribution of work authority and responsibility that is delegation among the employees of the various departments this part is done in organizing this part is done in organizing moving on what is staffing staffing means recruitment of employees that is staffing or uh, in every organization uh, employees play a very big role if you have skillful employees your organization will be always successful in achieving the objectives employees are known as arms and legs of the unit without hand, arms and legs it is impossible for our body to work just like that before uh, just like that just like that without employees it is impossible for any organization to work according to dr george terry staffing is concerned with availing and maintaining satisfactory manpower manpower means employees satisfactory means uh, the employees which are satisfied with their with their responsibilities okay and uh, staffing is concerned with availing availing means to have and maintaining maintaining means um, if you have an employee um, so to maintain an employee means to have that employee work in your organization for 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 the time as you want correct so that is maintaining satisfactory manpower where there is a business organization there will be existence of staff any organization without staff is like mere skeleton skeleton means uh, what is a skeleton skeleton is uh, you can say hard pinjar in hindi okay so that is skeleton without employees it is not able uh, it for any organization to achieve success activities of any business unit depends on its staff staffing is related with recruitment of employees for the right position at the right time in the right number and with the right qualification uh, you want employees to work yes skillfully but if a commerce graduate is given the work of uh, say marketing so maybe he is not able to do that work uh, in a in the right manner yes and maybe maybe a commerce graduate is more comfortable in working in the accounts department yes so it is very important for a organization to place the employee with the right skills in the right position in the right department 
yes it also includes selection selection of the employee employee and uh, you all must be aware that in any big organizations when employees are recruited they are given training training of 6 months in some organization it is also of 1 1 year so there will be transfers promotion dismissal dismissalment uh, dismissalment uh, uh, quitting the employee from the job yes uh, retirement and welfare activities of the employees enthusiasm and zeal of the employees are boosted if they are satisfied yes if the employee is satisfied with with its salary and with the with the behavior of the organization with him then employee will be working uh, more more efficiently ultimately it will lead to increase in productivity and efficiency of the organization staffing function studies problems related to employees um, the success of any business depends on its employees yes at present staffing also includes manpower planning human resource development evaluation of work job analysis etc so these are the things that are included in plan uh, included in staffing it is strong belief of every progressive management that a satisfied staff is an invaluable asset of the business yes of course um the employees are that valuable asset of the business which are not noted in the financial statements but still they form a very big role they play a very big role in the success of the organization we will be ending the lecture thank you